Welcome to this quick video on how to export from the direct database export. Step one is to head into system. It doesn't matter if you're in elementary or secondary school over here. And then go into direct database export. Once you're in here, the table that we need to start from is the CC table. Somewhere up here, CC. Let that change you should get a lot of records then we need to filter it to show us only the records from this year so this year is 2300 that's the 13 14 school year and then we search all the records to come up with a much smaller number around three and a half thousand at this point we need to export the records when you export the records, there's a whole, um, you have the ability to add fields from any table within PowerSchool. This is a little bit tricky, so I suggest that you simply copy and paste this list and leave it in there. To get this list, jump over to the staff start page, scroll to the bottom to the TKS technology site, and at the bottom there's a training link and then you should be seeing this video here and underneath it is the list if you copy and paste this list into the um, if you copy and paste this list and paste it into here then that should give you everything you need if the field you need is not in there, uh, let me know and I'll help you find it. Then simply, simply click Submit. Depending on the browser you'll use, it'll actually either show you a big list of data here. Ideally, you want to save it as a file uh, because then it's much easier to work with in Excel. That will take a little while to download. And so while you're waiting for that to download, you can make sure you've got Excel open. Because what we'll do is then open that file that's created in Excel. So there it is. I'll go and find it. Here it is here. So the best idea if you're using a Mac is to choose right click and choose open with and then choose Microsoft Excel and that will give you a full export of all students currently enrolled this year and all of their class data so that will show student ID the students name their grade level nationality, date of birth, moving over to parent, mum and dad information, uh, phone numbers, expression is the period in which the class meets. If we move that down to secondary, you'll see some changes. So for example, this class, uh, Salman meets with Chris Streit for math during block um, or periods three and four of a day two, which is a, a B. And that's the course code, etc. Then you can simply um, set up the filters in the top row so that you can then sort them based on student number, date of birth, grade level, course name. Thank you for watching. That's a quick tutorial on using the direct database export in PowerSchool.